Don't you hate it when your hair falls in your butt crack? Yeah, me too. I, and that's why I'm gonna get the shower apron. Introducing the shower apron. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Kickstarter Crap. That was a new, new way to start the show off. I hope you guys liked it. Let's watch the video. <laughs> Hi, my name is Akila Marks, and I am the inventor and CFO of the Shower Apron. Hi, my name is Zane Marks, and I am the CEO and designer of the Shower Apron. And my wife, Akila, has a problem when she washes her hair in the shower. And she came up with an invention. This creation is phenomenal. It's the Shower Apron. Honey, why don't you tell them about it? When I'm washing my hair, I realize that the hair is going down my back and into unwanted places. And it's very irritating and very time consuming while I'm trying to get it out. What the fuck? I mean, I don't have a lot of hair. I've had a lot of hair at one point, but never did I have the problem where the hair would fall off of my head and go inside of my butt crack. That never happened, you know? I mean, I think the main reason it never happened is the fact that your hair doesn't just fall out when you when you wash your hair. It doesn't just it's not you're not washing your hair with acid, okay? It shouldn't be falling out. Unless you're you know, undergoing chemotherapy, your hair shouldn't be falling off of your head and sliding down your back and into your butt crack. So what I decided to do was try to figure out a solution to the problem. After a lot of time and thinking and research and talking to my husband, that's where we came up with the shower apron. Look at that husband. He looks so sad about it. It's almost as if he has to hear his wife confess this my strange addiction where she pulls out her hair and feeds it to herself through her butthole. That's no way to live your life. But TLC wants to know about it. If, if you or anyone you know has a strange addiction, uh, uh, go to the number down below. When I'm washing my hair, I realize that the hair is going down my back and into unwanted places. And what the fuck is up with this elevator music? What? Why? Who? Who? Who decided elevator music was the best? I, you know what? It's I'll tell you who who decided. The, the guy who doesn't see enough Kickstarter crap episodes to know that what you have to do if you want to make a really commercially successful Kickstarter project is put the, you know, a happy Apple sort of hipster tingy music in the background. Dun, 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 dun. Through our studies, we've realized that this is a problem for men and women with short hair and long hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nod your head at that one. That is that is really one to nod your head at. It is for men and women, and it's for short hair and long hair because it works equally bad for all of them. Because no one's hair falls off and travels to their butthole. It doesn't happen. It just doesn't fucking happen. There's been a lot of Kickstarter projects that I could sort of understand, like... Oh, I see why some people would like that, because it's a very subjective thing. This, I can objectively say, no one's hair falls off their head and travels to their butt crack and just stays there, or fucking whatever. I mean, let's, let's, for the sake of argument, let's say it happens, and it happens all the time. You wash your hair, and you, it just... It just slides down your back like a slip and slide with all the shampoo. It doesn't stick to you. It slides off of you. And it slides off of you down to your butt crack. And that's where it stops. Because you got a lot of hair down there. It catches it, okay? It catches it in sort of a Charlotte's web. Okay? Let's say all that happens. Where, where's the next place that you're going to wash? Presumably, you go top to bottom. That would be the best way to wash yourself, I think. You know? So... As the shit runs, as the hair runs down your body, you can then wash your butt crack and all the hair goes to the drain. Huh. Oh, maybe we need a drain apron. Introducing Drain Apron keeps all the hair from going inside your drain. Oh, what a great fucking invention that is. Actually, I does. That actually does seem like a good I'd actually use that, I does. I'd actually use that. Oh, guess what, dipshit? That's called the fucking drain cover. You know the thing with the little holes all over it? You know, where, where people go in and, and pinch it and pull out a nice little, like, uh, cat vomit of, of hair collection? That's what that's for. <laughs> Science! And it is an issue that people are afraid to talk about. Well, now we're here to say that there has been a solution to the problem. No, I don't think anyone's afraid to talk about it. You might have the perception that everyone's afraid to talk about it because you haven't heard anyone talk about it, but that's not because they're afraid, that's because it doesn't exist. That's the reason they don't talk about it. 
Let's go ahead and again assume that the hair falling in your butt crack is a common problem. It happens all the time. The shower apron. How does this make it any less of a pain in the ass? And I don't mean that literally, because hair going in your ass wouldn't be a pain in the ass, okay? You just pull it out, okay? You just fucking pull it out, or you wash it out. You do that move in the shower, if you don't have a removable shower head, you do that move where you sort of arc over and then spread the cheeks. It's a nice move. I think I, 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 think I patented it. Yeah, I think I think I filed a patent for that move. It's called the the butt cheek an, angel arc butt back spread. Mm, ar, arch an, it's it's the archangel butt butt cheek back spread. That's what I call it. And uh, you can buy it for fifty nine ninety nine. The patent that is. It's a very cheap patent. I'll sell it to any buyers. Let's think about all the steps involved in the fucking shower apron use, right? You gotta go in the shower and you gotta put that shit on. Uh, beforehand or while you're in the shower, either way, I guess. So you put on the shower apron, you, you clip it, and then you start showering. I imagine it would probably be a, a, you get in your way a little bit when you're trying to wash your butt cheeks and everything, because you have to spin it around, wash your butt cheeks, spin it back. Um, and then you gotta hang it up to dry. Why would you do any of that shit when all you gotta do is just, you know, archangel backspread butt cheeks? Why, why would you do any of that when all you gotta do is that? When I'm washing my hair, I realize that the hair is going down my back and into unwanted places. I don't know why they're saying unwanted areas in the video when just beneath it, they'll go so far as to say butt crack. They say, finally, a solution to help stop hair going down your back and into your butt crack in the shower. You know, it's plain as day right there. It's just not, it's not unwanted areas. It's your butt crack. That's what she's referring to. Uh, areas like what areas is there more than one area oh now 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 your long your long hippie dude hair won't fall onto your dick oh yeah because that was such a fucking problem before which is why i spent so much time in the shower just scrubbing that m mad boy scrubbing that mad boy up and down until all that hair was gone you know because all the hair collects on it you gotta you gotta do it until it all the hair's off and that's the best way of doing it just like that if you have said, it doesn't happen to me, you might want to check in that unwanted area next time you wash your hair in the shower and see if this means you too. So I don't know what any of that fucking shit means because it was poorly worded and didn't make any goddamn sense, but I get the sentiment. It doesn't happen to me, okay? And I don't need to check my butt crack to know it doesn't happen to me because I'll fucking wash my butt crack. You know, it, that's a common practice, right? Washing your butt crack? People do that, right? It's not just me. I hope it's not just me. I mean, really. I consider myself a pretty filthy dude. I'll jack off into socks. You know, I will, uh... I'll not wash my hands after taking a leak. You know. But I don't have hair in my butt crack because I wash it. You guys might be thinking that the shower apron is a cheap piece of crap, but you'd be wrong in thinking that. The shower apron is a well-tooled, well-designed apron. And it's going to easily sell for $15. Oh, wait, no, that's you get a bottle opener for, for the $15 tier. Okay, well, surely it's, it's in the $35 tier, right? Nope. $35 tier gets you a t-shirt. Well, holy fuck. I mean, why not just get that? It's got more material per capita than the shower apron. I mean, it doesn't have any cool designs, probably. In fact, it's just a t-shirt that says the shower apron on it. So if I get a t-shirt with a shower apron logo, I, I really am the epitome of fucking retard. The shower apron you can pick up in the $50 tier. That's right, it's an early bird special. Plus you get a three month warranty on it. <laughs> a three month warranty on, on something that has no moving parts. It's just a fucking piece of plastic with a string around it. That's all it fucking is. God damn. Here, here, here's, here's a dog turd. It's got a it's got a three week warranty on it. Pretty good, huh? If you have a family full of people whose hair travels to their butt crack in the shower, we got you covered because we got the package deal here. One hundred and fifty dollars, and you get two aprons. That's right, baby. It's the best deal on the planet. One apron costs you fifty dollars. Two aprons, one hundred and fifty. The math really adds up. But I dubs the two aprons have a year long warranty. You're spending $50 on a year-long warranty. You're spending it on a warranty. Not, that's not like insurance. That's not fucking like 
Apollo, that's warranty. It's a, that's the shit that comes standard, but you're paying $50 for a year-long warranty. I think the Sham Wow probably had like a three-year-long warranty, and all you're paying is $15 or $10 or whatever the fuck it was for a Sham Wow. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Hair in Your Butt Crack. I hope you enjoyed watching. This has been a very good episode, and I plan on doing very many more great episodes like this one. I would say, Mwah, it's perfecto, like the Italians say. Uh, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share with a friend, click links. Click a lot of links, that's what really helps me in the stats. And remember to tune in next time when I forget how to fart. Oh no. PS4 for downtime. Well, this is a pretty interesting campaign. I like, I like the, the creativity here, you know? I got a, I got a buddy who's gonna get his, his wisdom teeth taken out soon, and, uh, I should, I should tell him, hey buddy, you should do, an Indiegogo campaign, say, oh, uh, my wisdom teeth are taken out, I, I can't do, I can't eat solid foods for a week. Epic win, I-dubs, I can relate. I jack into socks, I jack off into socks too, buddy. It's just convenient. I mean, think about it. If your socks aren't super rank, it's not like you're dirtying up your dick all that much, right? Um, you know, secondly, they're they're going into, into the wash soon. It's highly sustainable, you know? For all you dudes out there jacking off into paper towels or tissue paper, that, you're killing our planet. You're killing our planet. And you're probably fine with that, right? Just just so long as you get your rocks off, right? Yeah. Yeah. Think about Mother Earth next time you're jacking off into that napkin. And then remember what I dub say, say says. Remember what I dub says. You can slip a sock over your cock and it feels like a ve ve vagina. Uh, super ball vagina. Welcome to the tribe. The tribe of super balls. Super balls games. Uh, lead developer is uh, uh, Ger Gerb Stammy. Hello, Gerb Stammy. Where is Ustin Goosh? Ah, oh, Ustin Goosh is over there. Hey, Ustin Goosh. Have you been working on any cool things lately? Mm, no, not Moj.